Hey, what up y'all and welcome back to another one. Coming at you with another dog training video today. Y'all seem to love the first one and today should be no exception. Charlie the dog trainer is headed to the house today and we're gonna go through an entire video about how to get your dog introduced to gunfire the right way. The way that you're supposed to do it. But before we get into today's training sesh, I wanna give a massive shout out to DT Systems. They sponsored this here video, and not only did they sponsor this video, but they've also sponsored Fred for about eh, the last year. Y'all remember last season, they sponsored Fred, gave us electric collars, bumpers, remote hand launchers. Well, they hooked us up again, and they also sponsored Charlie's training service with everything we need for this series of videos. So, if you guys have any questions on the training gear that we're using, the bumpers, the hand launchers, any of it shown on any of these videos, just know that it's DT Systems. DT Systems dog supplies, all their training supplies will all be linked down in the description below. Head over to the website, give it a look. They have literally everything plus more that you'll ever need to properly take care of and train your Labrador Retriever. But the kids are hollering at me. They have no idea that Fred's coming to the house the whole family, the entire family, has been missing Fred something fierce. So at the end of this video, they're all gonna get surprised by old Frederick. Uh-oh, sis, someone's here to see you. Do you know who it is? No. I was gonna show her at the end. Look, she's oh, right here, look, here he comes. You know who that is? Mm -mm. You don't know who it is? Mm -mm. Oh, we better find out. Uh-oh, sis, do you miss somebody? <laughs> you see, Charlie says wrong door. Hold on, hold on. Uh oh, there's that little critter Sit. head. Sit. Look, look. Sit. He's, oh, Sit. He, he knows where he's at. Sit. All right, come on. <laughs> oh, there's a Freddy Rico, sis. Oh, look, he was out in the rain. He was getting wet and playing around. There he is, sis. Did you miss him? Yeah. <laughs> he's crazy. He misses you. He knows he's home. But here we go. We got Fred. He's here. Sit. Sit. Good boy, he's so excited he can't see straight. <laughs> and we got old Charlie. Now Charlie, got he's got Sand Hill Retrievers. Tell him about it real quick. Sand Hill Retrievers, we are known for our waterfowl dogs. We uh, strictly uh, train labs, most generally. Uh, been, been training for five, six years now uh, as an amateur. Hey, see him. Well, uh, I gotta tell you what, all the viewers on the first video, yeah. They were pretty impressed. And I'm very what. happy about it. I've got a lot of feedback from you guys too, and uh, keep it keep it coming. And right, feels good getting some good old positive feedback, <laughs> especially for Charlie okay. going into this series. He was like, Bob, you're you're a veteran. You know how to talk to this camera. And he was a little nervous. It is nervous at it the beginning. Nervous. It is. No so cracking. shout out to y'all for giving Charlie some support. He's one heck of a trainer. Let's get into today's video. Who else did you bring with you? Oh, we got Kai. We got uh, a lot of you guys like Blaze. Everybody's liking oh, Blaze, yeah. so we brought Blaze. We're gonna intro to him just to some gun, some gunshot today. So let's get let's get to it. Introduction to gunfire. Uh, let's get old Blaze out, and we're gonna get back there. Well, here we go. We're ready to roll. Ooh, look at that good old looking girl. That's that DT hand launcher, and it's gonna be a very good tool today, isn't it? Yes. Very very important tool. So. Here's what we got. We got Blaze. How old's Blaze? Blaze is 14 weeks this week. 14 weeks. So, a little over three months. Three and a half months, almost yeah. four months old. So, first off, we are going to talk about how old does your dog need to be for loud sounds? Not gunfire, but loud sounds. I start, I start dogs off as soon as, I mean, as soon as they're home. I will, like we, we covered it in the last video, loud claps, loud... And that, you know, hollering next hollering, to them. hey, hey, you know, uh, anything you can do to get them used to that loud sound. I mean, zero to four months, just put it that zero way. Zero right? to four months, yes. And, uh, la you know, not real loud sounds, but like I said, clapping. Uh, when they get a little older, I take two pieces of wood. That's loud. That's loud. That's loud. That's now, like, that's louder than any shotgun. It almost, the pitch of it is way higher than a shotgun. Yes, but make sure your dog is ready for this stage. You can tell by your dog, by the way he acts, by the way he, if he's, 
uh, cringes, uh, kind of kind of moves the shoulders. They kind of bow their head bows, down and yeah, they don't like if, it. If they do that, then they're not ready. And do it in an exciting time. I do it while we, while we feed. Feeding is probably, you know, the, one of the most exciting parts of a dog's life right there. So we will, we will do them. We will make the loud sounds during feeding. Gotcha. I mean, and gotcha. then building them to a shotgun sound, to a, to a 22 sound. This is a very, I mean, not only can you throw dummies with these, uh, you can use them for a shot sound. Right. Just as loud as a 22, pretty much, almost. Let's just do it. Yep, let's just show you. And make sure everyone's clear. Yep. Woo, that was real loud without the dummy on it. <laughs> <laughs> so, more than, you know, tools can be used for more than one thing. Especially this right here. This He made a really good point just with the two by fours. This is an awesome tool uh, for all you guys that are gonna be doing your dog training in your at home in your backyard when you can't use fireworks or even a cap gun i yep. had a lot of questions about a cap, cap gun. guns what's Good. your what's your take on a cap uh, gun cap guns fine if your dog's ready for that kind of sound right. then it i mean you just got to build build on small work up to big right. i mean and big being shotgun right and, i think uh clapping moving to the two by fours maybe a cap gun and then something like a 22 yep. before you get to a shotgun like I didn't do. I, I did not do it right with Fred. And that's why we're fixing everything with Fred now. Yep. <laughs> He's <laughs> like, yeah, Bobby, you sucked. Yeah. No, no, I would never say that. <laughs> no, I, I sucked. Well, I got Blaze here. He's our three to four. <laughs> He's crazy. Dad, old Charlie, he's walking away with bumpers and he is ripen and ready to go, I'm telling you. So the first thing with a puppy, don't get frustrated. They're really excited and to keep them excited, oh, it's important. So what we're gonna do, Charlie's out about, I don't know, 30, 40 yards. He's got a, a loud cap gun, you can say. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hold Blaze. I'm gonna mark him. He's gonna throw the cap gun. He's gonna shoot the cap gun at the 30, 40 yard mark. If Blaze doesn't flinch or not like it, oh, hold on buddy. We'll move forward up until we get to like 15, 10 yards. So it's all about building them up. He's excited, he's ready to go. So Charlie said, Hold their paws off the ground. Blaze. It's just like that. They're handfuls. Don't get frustrated with them. You gotta work with them. Here, Blaze, here. He went to dad with it. So he didn't flinch or anything. That's at 35 yards. Here he comes back. Come on, Blaze. Good, here. Here, Blaze, come on. Here, Blaze, here. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Blaze, here. Blaze, here. Come here. Go, boy. Here. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Good. Good dog. Here, good. Sit. Sit. Good. Now, Charlie's going to move a little closer. We're going to do it again. You're going to move a little closer? Yep. All right. So he's going to move into about 25 yards. It's all about baby steps, especially. Blaze has heard cap guns, 22s before, but if your dog hasn't, take your time before you get too close. We're ready. Hey, 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 Blaze, hey, hey, hey. Blaze, making him want it. He's looking for it. Good dog, here, here, Blaze, here, Blaze, here. He's going to dad again. <laughs> Here, Blaze, come on, buddy. Now, you seen what, uh, I hope you guys can see what Charlie did. What he did, he goes, hey, 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 hey. He wants to get Blaze's attention just so he has him looking in the general, general direction. Blaze has yet to flinch, so we're gonna move up. Good, here, Blaze, come on, buddy. Here. Come on, Blaze, here. Blaze, Blaze, here, here, buddy, here. He's going to dad. <laughs> you're a wild, he, dude, you're not kidding. He's a fireball, dude. He is straight firecracker. All right, so when you're doing this, it's like Charlie stated, it is important, oh, puppy licks. It's important to pay attention to your puppy and make sure he isn't flinching. If he starts flinching, don't bring it any closer, just shut her down for the day. So, here we go, here's our third one. We're at about, what, 15 yards now. All righty. Hey, hey, Blaze, hey, hey, hey. Blaze, he's so ready to go. He ain't flinching, dude. He's just ready. But 
If your dog's new to firing at all, this is a good technique. It's gonna take two of you, but... Good boy, boy! Good boy, boy! Good boy, boy. Good boy. Lots of hey. always lots of praise. Good boy, boy Blake! Yeah. Hey. Now he gets a free one. Always end it. And everyone on a good note, guys. Every everyone. single thing ended on a good hey, note. Hey, hey, good job. Well, that was good. Yes, he did real well. He didn't flinch at all, dude. He good. is so, like he, Charlie said in the first video, dude, he's such a firecracker. Yeah, he just got the drive. Oh, dude. Hey, hey, hey. He wants a bird. Where's like, bird? He, he wants the bird. bird. Look how cute he is. I'm telling you. Hey, whoa, 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 not on the truck now. <laughs> dude, there's been so many people, they're like, Bob, you need to get a puppy because you know during guys season your dog's gonna wear out and they're like you need to you need to buy blaze or the or the black dog guys i'm gonna have my hands full but if you guys want to purchase one of charlie's dogs feel free to get a hold of them get a hold of me sandhillretrievers.com uh yeah get a, get a hold of me uh 812-240-3324 sandhill retrievers charlie oh yeah that a boy so one thing about the backyard for people with puppies. Yep. One thing you do, it does, it will take two two pairs of hands, right? It will. But things well, right here will be loud enough for exactly. people exactly in once the you, city limits. Once you get to this point, that gunshot shouldn't mean anything. You're right. It's loud. I mean, man. I'm barely. Yeah, it makes my eyes squint. Yeah. So if you live in the city limit, hey, get your girlfriend to help you. Get your buddy to help you. And you set up just the same exact way that we did. Maybe you only get out to 25 yards because it's not as long. But work your way towards the dog as you go. It's loud enough. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. Just start out with these. No guns. Build up to the gun. Uh-oh, Freddy. Who's here to see you? <laughs> oh, y'all miss him. You miss him, Mom? A bunch? Like, you're like, oh, your Freddy boy's home. You're just going to interrupt the whole video. You don't even care. Look, Bubba don't care either. I miss you, buddy. I miss you, buddy. Look, he's just sitting. That's a good boy. Sit. Sit, Fred. Sit. He's learned so much. He's coming a long ways, Mom. Daddy. Old college. He's an old college Daddy, student. Daddy, we're almost a college grad. Yeah, it's a casing. In fact, let's make sure of this. Oh, we're going to slap a collar on him. Yep. Well, yeah. yep. Oh, Fred, we just did a launch for him. Set. Oh, you're going to get him a choke collar on, huh? Oof. You're going to get it now, dude. Now, describe it to everybody. What? What? Now, no. this is a pinch collar. It's not a choke collar. Sorry. Sorry. This is a pinch collar. Pinch collar. We're not going to try. We're not trying to get the. We're not trying to get. You know the tongs to dig into the skin we're just trying when you pull on this it creates pressure telling the dog that he's doing something wrong you're not gonna he's not gonna squeal he's not gonna scream you don't want to you don't want to overdo it with these a lot of people don't use them right let's just right. be honest yeah you uh, don't need to be yanking your no. dog's neck around with a pinch no. collar all it takes is this that's it sit he's gonna get look he's sit. got his attention sit he ain't moving sit yep. so now what this is gonna do if we shoot and he tries to break, then it's gonna create that tension on his neck until he stops fighting to come back and sit still. Right, so, so with the gunfire part, Blaze, he's not ready for the old shotgun yet. He's just not ready, he's not to that point. So, we're gonna use Fred as an example and we're also gonna use a pinch collar like Charlie just got done describing for the breaking feature. Now. We're still going to run it the same as if your dog is just now getting ready for shotgun yeah, yeah. Imagine us doing exactly what we did, but coming up here and standing side by side. Right. You're going to start far out. You're so this start. is your seven, eight, maybe six month dog that you believe you've went through all everything that we've already taught you and it's to the point you need to and start. And through force fetch. And needs to be through force fetch too. That, that's true. And that video is actually coming in one to it two videos. Good. So stick around. Let's roll. Okay. Here, Fred. Heel. No, no. So, now with Fred, sit. 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 Charlie, he's going out to about 30 yards. Now, Fred, he's already gun trained, but with this pinch collar, what we're going to do, he don't get to go if he breaks. If he breaks and he lifts his butt up and tries to run off, he ain't going to get that bird. He's got to earn it. We're good. Ready? Yep. 
getting his attention. Fred! There he goes. Good boy. He has been doing so good. I mean, so good. Did it go in them trees? It's around there somewhere. He's been doing so good though. His braking is just, he's figuring it out. He's come so far on his braking. But again, if your six month, seven, eight month old dog is ready for introduction to shotgun, build up to that. Don't just start with a gun. I made that mistake. I think it was what, eight months. I didn't do a uh, popper. I didn't do the two by fours clapping around him. I didn't do anything like that. And uh, I paid the price for it a little bit. I, I, me and Jordan, I remember that video. Jordan and I, uh, out at the farm, we introduced him to a gun and I still didn't do it as right as I should have. Not like this. Heel. This Let's is, um, this is using a 12 gauge. Now we're gonna move forward quite a little bit here away from the trailer with the puppy. So, uh, two guys on gun training, gun introduction to gunfire, it's easier. You gotta have it and think. Thank you to mama for filming for us now. So yeah. that's what we're gonna do. Deal. We're gonna stand Deal. just about as far as far as you would in a blind maybe, or you know, pretty close, but you gotta have a buddy to throw it. Go ahead. All right. We're gonna create as much excitement as we can. So, hey, 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 shoot. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, heel, see, he heel, heel. Sit, no, heel, sit. Set, sit, set. He does not get to go get that bird. He broke hard. Set. That excitement. Yep. That's why you want to build that excitement. Hey, hey, hey. You want to push him to the point to he's fully excited. He's engulfed with what all's going on. And you want to make him break. And we're teaching him not to. So you don't get to get that bird. Plain and simple. Sit. So here we go. He broke. Doesn't get the bird. Now sit. Round two, we're going to throw a different mark. Sit. Hey, 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 No, 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 heel. Good. That's, heel. that's what Sit. you got to do. Build Heel's. excitement. Sit. Sit down, Fred. Sit. Sit. This down. isn't us being hard on him. This is training him so we won't break. A lot of you commented on every video that he would break last year, and you told me to do this. So that's what we're doing. I don't. With all the new clients this year, I'm not saying that they're unsafe, but I don't want my dog shot. Not, not even if it's a client, but myself. I could accidentally shoot a dog. So, for his own good. All right, try now number sit. three. Sit, sit. Let's do it. Hey, 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 he, his butt was off the ground, That's but right. it wasn't right as now. bad. Right now? We didn't know who was going to call him, so Fred did good. <laughs> Fred did good. Here, Fred, here. He got confused. Set. Sit. Hold. My bird. Good, good right, boy. Now, he's going to stay beside you, and I'm going to throw a mark from a waist. Okay. That'll work. So now, what we're doing is uh, he's going to go up on the hill. He's going to throw a long mark. I'm going to hold Fred and shoot the gun. So building excitement, it's just like in the blind when you go, take them, blah, 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 blah. that's what we're trying to reenact here. Set. Go ahead. Hey, 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 Good, here, right here. Let's go. That's that what was, you want. That was perfect. Now. Here, right here, set. Right here, heel. Set. My bird. Now. Good. That was perfect. This is the best thing ever for Fred. I'm telling you what. Like Charlie said, got to end it with a playful one. Hey, hey, hey. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Heel. Set. Set. Good. Good boy, my bird. Yeah. Good boy. Come on. Come on. Good. Good boy. Set. He's like, Dad, I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs>
That's okay. That's awesome. Dude. That was good. It's just perfect. You guys want to play with the puppies for a minute? Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh look at them. Hi. Oh, look at them. Hi. They're good puppies. Hi. They're good puppies. Oh. What do you think, bub? This is you. <laughs> Are they cute? Like, you need three more. We need three more. Hi, <laughs> Woo! Well, one thing I want to add to today's uh, video. The main body of today's video was to teach you guys how to introduce gunfire to your new dog. So, to add to that, what I've been having to, uh, actually what Charlie and I have really been after is teaching Fred not to break. So, in every episode, you guys are going to get some options, some, some opinions, some techniques to not let your dog break, just like today. So, that's a good boy. That's a good Frederick. Oh, he is. He says, Dad, let me drink. Leave me alone. But again, huge, huge shout out to DT Systems for supplying all of the dog supplies. What, Bubba? I didn't say peace. You want to say peace at the end? Okay, hold on, Bub. <laughs> for supplying all of the products used for these videos and for just playing out, sponsoring Fred and hooking us up, man. They're a big help. Oh, they're awesome. Get a hold of them, guys. They're for especially if you got a puppy these these bumpers for puppies are great yeah they're, look how small they are they're, they're small they're soft show them the different sizes oh well you got two inch and you got a three inch so yeah puppy big dog yep and for different drills right what's this one here that's your uh winger that's where you oh yeah you put a wing well, on that you can well, velcro a wing on and off of it, right? a scent pad a wing you can do there's oh, a lot of different things you can do pad. with it uh it just repli replicates the as they're running the, the wings hitting them in the face gotcha and gets them used to that again if you guys want to pick up any dt products i'll link them all down all these products in fact down in the description below go check it out they have literally everything you'll ever need well we're gonna enjoy fred while he's here while we got him home for a little bit charlie you mentioned the other day we'll get to take him for a day or two here before long yep about I'm gonna go on vacation, so. Well, we're just waiting, you know. We're, we're just out here waiting for the go ahead. Yep, it'll be soon. <laughs> yeah. But especially, I wanna thank y'all for being here. Without y'all, we wouldn't be doing this series, we wouldn't be partnered up with DT, and Fred wouldn't be getting the help he needed. So, without you guys, none of this would be possible. Thank y'all for being here. If you have any uh, questions, maybe recommendations, or just simple questions, how you can train your dog at home, Drop them down in the comment section below. That's where Charlie and I read them all. Yep. And that's where we get our ideas of what we actually need to teach you guys. So don't be afraid. Tell no, this them. all came from you guys last last video. So right. let, let us know what you all want to see. We had so many people on needing help gunfire. on gunfire. Thank you all for your comments. Like I said, don't feel don't, don't 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 be scared just drop your comment down below i appreciate you guys subscribe if you haven't hit that little notification bell down there if you haven't but until next time we need to watch Peace. The puppies while you're